Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss which martial art type is the best for you. First, let's just say the best martial art for you is the one that you actually want to do. This means that you have a certain kind of intuition which kind of martial art would be good for you as a person. It's also very important to realize that even though you like boxing, but maybe you are better at grappling. So you have to be figuring out what is your skill and what is your desire at the same time. Second most important thing is to figure out which martial arts style is good for you, is to see what kinds of schools are available near to you. Nobody wants to drive three hours just to go to a class. Like that's, that's a big determination to do. Unless that's your style and you want to keep doing it, then that's a reasonable thing to do. But if you are just thinking of which martial arts should you do, or your kids, or whatever, then you have to figure out what is the best, most convenient way to do it. So if you have a Taekwondo school that's near you, and you have a Karate school that's a little bit further away, then you might consider taking up Taekwondo instead of doing Karate. The third thing is to see whether that class that you have chosen is actually a good one. We've talked about the Mad Dojos before, I linked that video here somewhere, but the most important thing is to see what is the environment in the dojang. So when you walk into the room, what do you see? Do you see the trainer that he or she is actually enjoying teaching, actually enjoying taking care of the students and teaching them how to kick and punch and do all kinds of things? Or they're just like, oh, here is another day I have to teach. I really don't want to do it, just taking the money. So that's not a good attitude if you are looking for a good martial arts school. It's very important to say there is not a best type of martial art. There is no such thing. Each martial art, they have different styles, different things that you can do. They all possess their own unique strengths and also their weaknesses, but it's up to you to decide which one is best suited for you as an individual person. Just because your friends are doing karate doesn't mean that you have to do it too. Maybe you want to do judo or kendo or anything else. The best martial art for you depends on what do you want to accomplish and what do you want to keep on doing and learning more and more. You also have to figure out what is your type? So you like striking or grappling or both or you want to do something more low impact or you want to do high impact? Do you want to use your hands more? Do you want to use your legs more? It's all about what makes your body feel good. So do you want to do fighting standing up? Then you might consider striking arts like karate, taekwondo, kung fu, and if you want to use your elbows and your knees, then maybe Thai boxing is also an option. Do you want to grapple? Then get involved in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, wrestling or Judo. Although Judo is technically a throwing style, but many, many Judo schools that I know, they also go heavily on ground fighting as well. Then again, if you want to do grappling and throwing and also striking, maybe MMA like mixed martial arts would be a best thing for you to do. Remember to think about your physical condition and what you like to do. So for example, if you have a recurring neck injury, then maybe you shouldn't do Brazilian Jiu Jitsu where people are constantly trying to choke you. So maybe that's not the best option for you. Or if you just don't like being on the ground and wrestling, then maybe you shouldn't take up wrestling or Judo because then you don't want to be on the ground. So for example, in kickboxing, you are going to stand up and do punches and do kicks. But when you Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, you're not gonna do any of that. So you have to be prepared to be on the ground and do all the grappling techniques. If you just wanna learn self-defense, that's good because most martial arts, they do teach self-defense at their school. So it's very important that you learn the basic self-defense skills that you can practice and that you can 
keep practicing. Just because you've done it once doesn't mean that you learn it. So you have to be keep practicing it. It's just with everything else. So you have to keep putting in effort to learn the self-defense moves. Even if you're just doing boxing, there's also self-defense in that. It's also important to figure out whether you want to do it as a sport or more like a traditional martial art. Because for example, ITF Taekwondo is more like a traditional Taekwondo, but the WT Taekwondo, which is the World Taekwondo, they are represented in the Olympics, so they mostly train it like a sport, not a traditional martial art. So you have to figure out which one is the one that you would like to do. Do you want to do it as a sport? Do you want to go to tournaments? Then you should do that kind of martial arts. So let's see which are the striking or stand-up styles that you can choose from. There is boxing, capoeira, karate, kickboxing, krav maga, kung fu, muay thai, taekwondo and tang sun do. If taking people to the ground and wrestling sounds good to you, then you might consider taking up one of these types of martial arts. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Catch Wrestling, Jiu Jitsu, Luta Libre, Russian Sambo, Sumo and Wrestling. There are also throwing and takedown styles of martial arts. These involve learning how to take people to the ground. So this is more techniques but uh, like overlapping with the grappling styles that we just mentioned. So here's a list of those kinds of martial arts. Aikido, Judo, Hapkido, Shuaiyao. So these are also the styles when you use the opponent's aggression and energy that you turn back on them. So it's it's like a little bit of different style than just grappling styles. There are also weapon-based styles that you can practice. These are the following. Iaido, Kali and Kendo. There are also different kinds of martial arts which are low-impact meditative styles. These are all focusing on yourself. These are not concerned about combating an opponent. These are more breathing techniques and fitness and more focused on spirituality rather than fighting. So these are the following. Tai Chi, Qigong based styles, Bagua Zhang. In recent years, because of the popularity of MMA, many schools are simply labeling and teaching the utilization of several martial arts styles together as mixed martial arts. Still, the term MMA generally refers to training to compete in a sports style of martial arts that allows grappling, stand-up fighting, takedowns and submissions. Here's the list of all these hybrid styles that might be interesting to you. MMA, Cheat Kondo, Ninjutsu and Shoot Fighting. I hope you like this video. Please let me know in the comments below which kind of martial arts that is the best for you and what are you practicing or what are you thinking of trying out. I'm very much interested, so please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye!